Now I just gotta go up to the third floor and put that in. And then we will pretty much be done with the police department. Like I said, you blew through a lot, the precinct, a lot faster than I did the mansion in the first one. And like I said, I know this game pretty well. Well, that's good, because I'm going to need your help on clear side. No worries. And then you will be going solo on three when we decide to do that, but we got a couple more games planned before that. Yeah, we're not going to go straight through the fucking Resident Evil series. There will be some games in between. But don't worry, we will get to them. I really only came in here just to clear up some fucking inventory space. I'll put my Magnum in. Because I really don't need that right now. Ah, that's good enough for now. Take my shortcut up to the second floor. Dong, dong, dong. I just remembered those lookers. <laughs> oh, fuck you, bastard. See, I never played this game for the PlayStation. I played it for the 64. Huh. And yes, they may, they did fit Leon's and Claire's both on one cartridge. If I remember, I think like seeing, I, I think I saw something where it was saying like the graphics were actually a lot worse. Well, yeah, they had the. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. This is the moment where zombies pour in. But if you don't do the wire for either of them, they pour in on both ends. Oh. But it does not matter, because I will not be going down either of those hallways. Yeah, I just have to in my story. At that point, it's not going to matter. It doesn't remember every last fucking zombie that should be there in your story. The only thing it'll remember is whether or not I used a wire. In which case, the wire will just short out and add more zombies. So it really doesn't make any difference for you. All right, I want to go through there, and it's full of zombies. Trust me, I'm doing everything I can to make your gameplay a little bit easier. That's why I left both the side pack and the machine gun behind. I know, and I appreciate it. Well, I did that because you're not as experienced with this particular game as I am, and because the second half is actually harder. But you chose it. All right. It reveals this. Now, to the graveyard. Where we get the last plug, and then also, shortcut to the basement. To the back cave. No! Get away! He just got face raped. What the fuck is that? You really haven't played this game, have you? <laughs> wow. I've played a little bit of it. Not much. I'm telling you, man. The first three Resident Evils I never really played through all the way. Well, then you will see. Playing for this... Playing Man. the first one on this channel was the first time I beat the first one. Can you one. still hear me? Come on, answer. Damn. I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. You just uh, left when you had the fucking chance. Bitter no. irony. The chief of police. A co-conspirator. Oh, get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Leon isn't going to be doing oh. jack shit to the chief. Claire will, though. Well, she's 
she's gonna try to anyway. What's wrong? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Alien! <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you were wondering what boss I was gonna be fighting? What was that? That thing all grown up. Ah! And yeah, it's basically a letter from William Birkin to Chief Irons. Ah. Uh. Well, where actually, letters. To plural. the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. Hey. Hey. Did you not read the letter? It said the mansion was destroyed. We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. She said I'm disappointed. There's a reason for that. You'll see. When oh, we play okay. her side. It's just like she's something sad. Like, yeah. It's not that she's disappointed. It's just you, you'll see. So yeah, now we have the last plug. We can get through that door in the sewers. We just gotta go there. Thankfully, the spiders do not respawn. I'm just glad any of the zombies on this game doesn't respawn. Get me over there. Alright. As far as difficulty goes on the Resident Evil games, these three were harder than 4, 5, and 6. Combined. Maybe not 4. 5 four, and 6. Yeah, 4 was a little bit difficult. It wasn't terrible, though. Alright, um... I will pull out the Magnum, and I will save, just in case. This is the point that I would have first saved. Before the first boss fight? Yes. He's really not that bad. I can usually kill him before he manages to hurt me. But still. It's smart to take precautions. Alright. Three weapons. And some healing. I think I should be okay. One shitty auto fire handgun plus a magnum plus a fucking shoddy. Yeah, I should be okay. Looks like a shark. Uh, it looks like a shark. That just looks like E.T. on steroids. <laughs> oh, get off me. He's trying to ass rape you. That's why I leave the room and come back. Yes, because that makes it all... That just makes the monster magically disappear. It does. Well, the small ones anyway. Got him back, Mama. Uh, uh, All right, now he's dead. Thankfully, he never got to me, but his little fucking minions did. But if you leave the room and come back, which is what I was originally trying to do, it makes him gone and all of his little fuckers gone. So you don't have to deal with them. Otherwise, you end up wasting ammo trying to take them out so they stop trying to crawl up your ass. Alright. Well, actually, I should go and uh, put my magnum back in. Probably since should. Since it's uh, pretty much useless at this point.
So yeah, Magnum, one of the most powerful weapons in the game, it ate all eight of those shots. Plus two shotgun rounds. Well, it's not like it's Barry's Magnum. True. Because apparently his Magnum is like... Godlike. That thing kills just about anything in the game with one shot. Almost every time you shoot a zombie with that thing, their heads explode. Which gets rid of the need to burn them. Ada. And I want to know what path Ada took. Why couldn't I just do that? Well, why didn't they include a third disc for about? Ada's story? Running off like that was Good point. And <gasps> stupid. Those There's zombies a, are everywhere. Something for the Not to mention there you go. Got bad. I was there, Leon. I know. Yeah, shut up, Dad. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive. I'm so glad they together. replaced his okay. voice actor. All right. Yes. We'll In Resident Evil 4, he has a different voice actor. He doesn't sound like a complete tool. He's actually pretty damn cool. This is just a game where he became a badass. And then 4, he is a badass. And then 6, he's an aging bad badass. <laughs> Either way that you look at it, the three games he's in, he's a badass. Oh, grab me some blue ganja. Thankfully, it's not too rare in this game, but I still try to grab it when I can. Because if I had a choice of who I could go through the zombie apocalypse, I'd pick Leon over Chris. I would pick Tallahassee from Zombieland. <laughs> Well, that wasn't one of the options. <laughs> now, was it? I'm just saying. Well, in all honestly... And blah, 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 blah. I'd pick Superman to go through the zombie apocalypse with. <laughs> and the Hulk. But hey! <laughs> those weren't on the suggestion box. Well, I'm talking about humans. Normal humans, no powers. Tallahassee, man. He oh, kills oh, zombies okay, and has okay. fun with it. Yeah. Um, I'm still waiting on Zombieland 2. It hasn't... Well, Why hasn't that happened yet? It, it's it been pretty much confirmed at this point. They're still working on it, though. Look at all these fucking herbs. Plus, you still got, like, two first aid sprints. Yep. Alright. Pretty much the only way I can go is down. I like how the elevator or the, is, oh shit right Ada. Heads up. Leon that woman was I have to talk to her what I was going to say like, so she just leaves you dead for dying. Yeah, she does leave you dying. What a bitch. Yeah, pretty much. And yet, he still wants to bang her in the fourth one. Get up the ladder. You hoe bag. Alright, this is the one time you see this enemy in the entire game. Giant cockroaches! Really? Look at him. Damn. That's it. That's the last time you see him. <laughs> if you give him the chance, they will kill your ass. For a fucking lab tech, she's a pretty good shot. Yeah. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? 
Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. Dun, dun, dun. John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely, my husband, William. And it's da, da, da. Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. And here we get a halfway decent cousin. This way. With Hunk! It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus, no one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you've finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Doctor, you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. They didn't even notice he had one still left in his hand. They don't care. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! So yeah, he's not dead. Eat this, you freak! All those zombies are dead. G-Virus doesn't kill you. What is this thing? It just rapidly mutates. Hurry! I'm assuming that's how it got spread through the city. Yep. What is this thing? wasn't part of that team. No, so he was the he was the agent that went down to retrieve it after they got killed. Yeah, William should have lost I knew that. Prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures and create offspring. No. <laughs> Smack that hoe. Too bad. <laughs> well, her reaction's like, ah, oh, too bad. <laughs> Never explained why he wasn't at the mansion, though. Birkin? Like why he wasn't there? Yeah. Because that wasn't his mansion. Ah! 